The core of everything that we do, the basis of uh, what we do at the Montana Bureau of Mines and Geology is geologic mapping at various scales uh, for various purposes, but that serves as the, uh, the basis of, of just about everything we do. Montana is growing in population, and as a result of that, our land use is changing. So we're going from agricultural lands that's typically irrigated to residential development. So people want to know, do we have enough water? And do we have enough water, not just for now, but also to sustain the growth in the future? Mapping groundwater on such a large scale is just a really unique opportunity in and of itself. And you know the cool thing about it is, in a lot of cases, we're the first people to kind of go in and do groundwater work in some of these areas. And so um, in that sense, it's just really exciting. It's kind of a new frontier. There's been a lot of work done in Montana, but it's such a big state, there's just constantly more stuff to do. And we're seeing effects of you know, climate change and population growth and kind of all of these factors that you know, require more studies. And so it's just kind of an exciting uh, field to be in, um, you know, going into places that you know, maybe haven't been studied before and collecting that data. So as we map the state, we find lots of surprises. We often stumble across new faults that we didn't know were there. It's important to study the tectonic history of the state because the modern risk of earthquakes is related to the old ancient history of tectonics. So we have to look at old structures and see if there's any potential for those to be reactivated as new earthquakes. So we're always looking at this and kind of trying to untangle the new from the old. Working in Montana is great for geologists. We have a huge diversity of geology and there's been enough groundwork laid in the past hundred years that you sort of have a framework to work with but there's not been so much work that you know what to expect. So we're always getting surprises and uncovering these sort of hidden gems. Montana is a treasure state, so we've got a good solid history of mining in Montana, but uh, again, recent interest in economic development for critical minerals and those kinds of things has prompted us to expand our economic geology program. The Butte ore body uh, for the last hundred and some years has produced critical minerals for in support of defense, World War I, World War II, and of course energy development with copper and molybdenum. Uh, what we're finding now is Butte's gonna continue to do that into the next hundred years with the uh, extraction of critical minerals from some of the wastewater, Berkeley Pit in particular. Our role in that is to characterize the water, characterize the waste in Butte, and of course we have uh, excellent knowledge of the geology and uh, mineralogy of the, of the ore district. So we can bring all of that to bear to help develop some of these extraction technologies. What sets state surveys apart, whether it be Montana or anywhere else, is our ability to work with the public and do public education. Another unique opportunity I have is just getting to work with Montana landowners. Just a fun experience. You get to meet people from all walks of life, you know, people that you may not meet otherwise. Um, and it's just fun. You get to kind of make friends across the whole state and then just really engage with people and talk to them about groundwater. And people really are great and are interested in it. Um, you know, they're landowners, they're using their wells and they're super interested in it. And so it's just fun to talk about that uh, with them. Whenever we go into a particular area, whether it be for geologic mapping or especially our groundwater program, our first contact are the, the water right holders or the well owners or the landowners or whoever has the resource to make sure that they understand what we're working on and the value of it to them as well as to the state. With the Bureau growing, we do have a lot of research opportunities and actually just recently we made a number of hirings in the critical mineral area, economic geology, groundwater, we've actually hired some hydrogeologists. So there's, there's opportunity there. Though the luxury of our job is we get to ask big scientific questions and you don't get that luxury when you're working in the private sector. We're giving the science to the state of Montana and that's a really good feeling.